I'm Dr. Jim Taylor, and welcome to Prime Family Alert. The topic for this segment of Prime Family Alert is fear of failure. Fear of failure among children in America today is at epidemic proportions. Fear of failure causes children to experience debilitating anxiety before they take a test, compete in a sport, or perform in a recital. It causes them to give less than their best effort, not take risks, and ultimately never achieve complete success. Children get this destructive perspective on failure from popular culture. Popular culture defines failure as being poor, anonymous, powerless, unpopular, and physically unattractive. On television and the internet and in the movies, the losers, nerds, unattractive people, poor athletes, are teased, bullied, and rejected. With this definition of failure, popular culture has created a culture of fear and avoidance of failure. It is conveyed to children that if they fail, they will be ostracized by their peers and branded as losers for life. Sadly, many parents have fallen under popular culture's spell of failure as well. They've compounded the harm that failure can inflict on children by also connecting their own love and approval with it. The message children often get now is, I won't love you if you get bad grades. They come to see failure as a threat to their personal and social standing. There is no greater stigma in a popular culture than being labeled a loser. The expression loser has become an oft-used and enduring symbol in popular culture. To be called a loser is, to paraphrase a well-known sports cliche, worse than death because you have to live with being a loser. Children learn that they can avoid failure three ways. First, children can simply not engage in an activity in which they fear failure. If children don't participate, they're safe from failure. Injury, illness, damaged equipment, forgotten or lost materials, apparent lack of interest or motivation, or just plain refusal to take part are common ways in which children can avoid failure and maintain their personal and social esteem. Second, children can avoid failure by failing in an activity, but protecting themselves from the failure by having an excuse. I would have done well, but I just didn't feel like it. Or I would have done just fine, but the teacher was totally unfair. This behavior is called self-defeating behavior, or self-sabotage. Because their failures were not their fault, children can't be held responsible. In popular culture, their peers and their parents must continue to accept and love them. Third, many children don't have the luxury of not taking part or coming up with excuses. For example, children can't just not go to school. So another way that children can avoid failure is to get as far away from failure as possible by becoming successful. But children who are driven to avoid failure are stuck in a limbo between failure and real success, what I call the safety zone, in which the threat of failure is removed. For example, they have a B plus average or finish in the top 10 of their sport, but they're unwilling to intensify their efforts and take the risks necessary to fully achieve success. Let's face it, failure is an inevitable and essential part of life. Failure can bolster the motivation to overcome the obstacles that cause the failure. It shows children what they did wrong so they can correct the problem in the future. Failure connects children's actions with consequences, which helps them gain ownership of their efforts. Fear teaches important life skills, such as commitment, patience, perseverance, determination, the ability to overcome frustration. It helps children also to respond positively to the disappointment that they will often experience when they pursue their goals. Failure teaches children humility and appreciation for the opportunities that they're given. Of course, too much failure will discourage children. Success is also needed for its ability to bolster motivation, build confidence, reinforce effort, and increase enjoyment. As children pursue their goals, they must experience a healthy balance of success and failure to gain the, mo the most from their efforts. To protect children from popular culture's destructive definitions of failure, give them positive definitions of failure. I define failure in ways that encourage children to value rather than fear it. Giving children a definition of failure that takes away the fear liberates them from that fear. It also frees them to strive for success without reservation, to explore, to take risks, and vigorously pursue their dreams. Children will know in their hearts that some failure is okay and in no way a reflection of themselves as people. Finally, failure will ultimately enable them to achieve success, however they define it. I'm Dr. Jim Taylor for Prime Family Alert.